You are watching a master at work. What's going on, Card Family? Back at you with another video. So I figured I'd give you guys an update of my Peyton Manning Super Collection. It's been growing and growing, and I've been adding a lot of boxes to it. So I figured why not turn the cameras on and show you guys and explain to you a little bit how I separate my Super Collection. And it's also a great documentation video for me, something that I could look back on and just see my progress. So without further ado, let's jump right into these boxes. So real quick, before I get into the boxes, if you notice, I use the label maker a lot. Highly recommend getting yourself a label maker. It just makes things so much easier. And just a quick tip to give it an, a nice cleaner look. If you notice, this one has a bit of excess after the word and before the word. If you notice these, there's no excess. So just a quick tip, just to give it a cleaner look. Let's say this is what you print out. Just cut it right after the last letter and right before the first letter. And it just gives it so much more of a cleaner look. Just a little tip. All right, so in these boxes labeled one, two, three, four, five, and six, I keep regular base and inserts, not including number cards, not including autos or relics or graded cards. I have different boxes for those. So let me show you guys inside of these. So I have boxes four, five, and six here. I couldn't fit the others in the frame. And this six box is the new addition to this section. I have everything separated by years. It just works better for me. And for the most part, I have everything in top loaders and protected with perfect fit sleeves. Highly recommend using the tightest perfect fit sleeves for your collection just so it fits a lot looser in these rows. And also just to make the card look so much better. And the top loaders get scratched so easily. I'm constantly going through my collection. And even by shuffling through cards, over time the top loaders just look like shit. And man, these top loaders just really make any kind of card pop. And you never have to worry about scratches. Also, a tip about these dividers or any kind of dividers, if you're using a label maker, this is how the, the number will come out. And I used to just put it on there like that. And I would put this in the boxes and the top loaders would pretty much just cover up the whole number. So you want this as close to the top as possible. So just a little tip, just cut right above the number. Just like that, because you want this as close to the top as possible. Push this number as close to the top as possible, and you put it in there. And as you see, all the numbers are visible on top of all the top loaders. So this is my new box right here. And anytime you get a brand new two row box or any kind of card box, it's a bit tight. Over time, you add cards to it and it'll expand. So the tightest points when you first get a new box is at the top and the bottom of each row. And especially at the top, I don't like that pressure on the sides of my cards. So to combat that, just get yourself some of these foam pad stoppers. These are so handy. And you just put it at the top and you have a bit more room in the middle. And then I'll put one at the bottom and then eventually the box will expand and there'll be more room at the top and then I'll just take that out. But I just like my cars to be free flowing and I just don't like the pressure on my cards. So also with new boxes, if you only fill up one row, this middle part, this divider right here will be crooked. So a lot of times what I do to combat that is I'll take a, a bunch of one touches or in this case, a couple and you just put it right on the opposite and then eventually this will straighten out and you'll fill this section up and it'll be straight. So these are my relic boxes. I have one, two, three, and four and I keep nothing but my relic cards in here minus the autograph relics and minus a couple high-end cards which I keep elsewhere. So let's get right into these boxes. So I couldn't fit relic box number one so I have two, three, and four and the fourth box is my newest addition 
everything is pretty much set up the same way, divided by year. And you do see way more one touches in here because relics are by far my favorite kind of card to pick up. So I really do cherish them. Um, one difference that I have in these, everything is protected, perfect fit sleeves. What I'll do with the numbered relics is I'll put this little dot in the corner and you'll see that that's numbered. Get these little dots off of Amazon and it's pretty much when I'm going through my collection and I see the dot, I know what's numbered and what's not. Let's see, uh, for example, these are all numbered because you see the dots and then you come down here and you see one that's not. So this way you don't have to search the card to see if it's numbered or whatever. I see the dot and I know it's numbered. Um, let's see what we have. Shout out to Bronx Bombers Cards. He hooked me up with this nasty one. Oh, no, not this one. Where is it? This one. Shout out to Bronx Bombers Cards. He hooked me up with this nasty card. And then I was able to find this one to complement it. But relics, hands down, favorite kind of card to pick up. So let's jump right into the number cards. So these are my number boxes. I keep exclusively number cards in here. Not including relics, not including autos or graded cards. So let's get right into these boxes. So this is inside my number boxes. And this third box is the newest edition. Set up the same way, except I'm not using the little sticker dots in the corner. Just because I know all these are number cards. Um, absolutely love number cards. 2017. Look at that shiny. That's out of 99. Stargazing, all oh, these Star Factor cards. Used to like these. Still love these. I should really try to chase this rainbow. 99 and 49. Gotta love the shine. Let's see what else we have. Crack dice. Let's see. Some spectra. Gotta have the spectra. Let's see what else we have. Some new Spectra. Let's go over here. 2001. We have this sweet die cut. Donruss Elite. Out of 75. 2000. Let's see. Two thousand. Always love this prism card. This was like the cracked dice before the cracked dice out of 75. Let's see what else we have. Big fan of these ETOPS cards. They always had just gorgeous looking shine. And these are numbered, of course. So a lot of times they'll have the card. So I'll just slide this card inside of the perfect fit sleeve. Just really love this. Let's see what other, what else we could find. 2004. Out of 50, Reflections, really love that. And we just have a bunch of cards. So let's get into the autos. So this is my Card Case Pro box. I've had this going on six years. By far the best box that I've ever purchased. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this, but in here I keep all my Peyton Manning autos and all of my graded cards. So these two rows are all autographs. Let's see. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole video on this. These are all autos. Really like that one. Tops triple threads. Nice on card gold ink. Beautiful shiny. And then we have another shiny. And so these are just graded autos. And I'm going to go through this another time. Um, love these CD-ROM cards. Always keep them here. And then this row and this row is just all graded cards. Mostly rookies. So a lot of 9.5s. 
and I just absolutely love this box. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys watching. See you guys soon. Peace.